This is Unit 3, Linear Relationships, Lesson 5, Introduction to Linear Relationships. And this is Activity 2, Stacking Cups. And so when we stack a, a number of cups, is there are there some properties to that stacking of those cups that we can measure, that we can write down? Is there a pattern that's followed as we stack cups that we could record? Can we write a graph? Uh, create a graph? Can we write an equation? Is there some sort of pattern that's followed? Basically, is there some math, is there a mathematical property behind the simple stacking cups that we can write down and look at? Well, if you look at the first cup, that adds a lot of height. In this case, it adds seven centimeters of height. And then each cup after that adds a little bit more height to it. So first of all, it looks like the two properties that we can measure, it's not a surprise, are the number of cups, in this case it's six cups, and then the height of those six cups, in this case that's 15 centimeters. But something about, you know, we have to do something about this first cup that's added, and it looks like each one after, after that adds the same amount, and it's a little bit each time. So it looks like there's something there. Well, let's measure that. So this total for the six centimeters from this point right here to the 15, cent, uh, 15 centimeters is a total of eight centimeters. So six cups adds eight centimeters onto this very beginning amount for the first cup. And so how many centimeters per cup get added? Well, this is the rim of the cup right here, from this point to this point, you can call that the rim of the cup. And so if we just look at the rim of the cup, six rims equals eight centimeters. So maybe there's something there that we can use. And if we start at seven centimeters, after that, maybe we can turn that into a relationship of some sort. So if we subtract the first seven centimeters, oh, we have seen that before where we have subtracted a beginning amount to deal with a vertical distance or a horizontal distance or a vertical number of units along the y-axis or a number of units along the x-axis, we have subtracted values. We've even added values depending on where that slope triangle is. So this is the direction that we're going. So here's the, uh, an additional six cups that are added. So what happens if you double the number of cups? So this is six cups right here, and you double that number of cups to 12 cups, and you get up to a height of, it looks like it's pretty close to 23 centimeters. So if you start out with six cups, that's at 15 centimeters, and you double the number of cups to 12 cups, does this height double? Does it go from 15 to 30? No, it doesn't. It only goes to 23. So that's an, a, an initial hint, initial, initial clue to you that this is not a proportional relationship. At least it's not proportional in the very beginning where you have these seven centimeters. And so we're gonna to start to see a difference between a proportional relationship, which when you double something, when you double one property, the other property doubles, or when you triple one property, the other property triples, and a linear relationship where there's a constant increase, maybe even after an initial amount, that's gonna form a linear relationship, and a proportional relationship is a special case of a linear relationship where it goes to the origin. So this is not a proportional relationship, but maybe it's some other kind of linear relationship. All right, so you start out at seven centimeters and you um, take the six cups, so you get to 15 centimeters and you double the number of cups. It does not double the number of centimeters and only goes to 23 centimeters. But if you just look at the eight centimeters that are added because of the six cups, so the eight rims, one, two, I'm sorry, six rims gives you eight centimeters and then you add another six rims, that gives you another eight centimeters. So that does double. If you go from six cups to 12 cups, the number, the height of the rims goes from eight centimeters to 16 centimeters. 
Well, that's interesting. But let's go back for just a second and look at the ratios. Um, that's another hint as to whether this, this is or is not a proportional relationship. In a proportional relationship, the ratios of the two properties are always equal. That's called the constant of proportionality. It's always constant. If it's not proportional, that ratio will not be constant. So if you have um, 23 centimeters for 12 cups, that is, it gives you uh, 1 and 9 tenths centimeters for 1 cup per cup. If you have 15 centimeters and 6 cups, that gives you 2 and a half centimeters per 1 cup. So these ratios are different, so it tells you that this is not a proportional relationship. But maybe it's still a linear relationship. In, in other words, you can draw a line based on that relationship. Well, if you look at, if you take away that 7 centimeters in the beginning and just look at the height of the rims, if you have 6 cups, that gives you 8 centimeters. Well, 8 centimeters per 6 cups equals 1 and a third centimeters. That actually, by the way, is 4 thirds. So it's 3 thirds plus 1 more third is 1 and a third. 33 hundredths is a third. And then if you double the number of cups to 12 cups, 6 cups to 12 cups, and if you just look at the rims, the number of centimeters doubles from 8 centimeters to 16 centimeters. Well, that is also one and a third centimeters per cup, or four thirds centimeters per cup. So the change is every time you add a rim, you increase the height by four thirds centimeters, or one and a third centimeters. Those are the same thing. So it's a constant change of one and a third centimeters for each rim. So, but you have to remember to subtract the first seven centimeters. You have to get rid of the first seven centimeters, and then you can treat the rest of it as if it's a proportional relationship. Um, and we'll talk about that. So don't forget to subtract the seven centimeters from the height. So from one of the properties, which is the height, but notice that the number of cups stays the same. We have seen this before. This is where the slope triangle if the slope triangle is already resting against the y-axis, then you don't change the x-coordinate. That doesn't change. And remember the horizontal number of horizontal units is that x-coordinate. So in this case, it would be 6 cups or 12 cups. But the um, vertical distance, you have to, in order to get the proper vertical distance, you have to subtract the 7 centimeters from the first cup. So this is starting to take shape. It's starting to make sense with what we have done with graphs and equations in the past. And then what if we ask, um, how many cups does it take to reach 50 centimeters? So now we're going to add additional cups. How many more cups do we have to add to get to 50 centimeters? Well, don't forget, if you take away those 7 centimeters, the rest of this follows a pattern that we can use. Um, so the first six cups gets you out to eight centimeters. But remember, you have to add that seven centimeters. So the total height is 15 centimeters. Now, if I add another six cups, that's going to be another eight centimeters. So it's going to get me to 16 centimeters for those 12 cups. But to get the total height, remember, you have to add that seven centimeters. So that gets you to 23 centimeters. So we can start to build a table based on this information. Add another 6 cups, that gets me to 18 cups. I'm going to add another 8 centimeters, that's 24 centimeters. But to get the total height right here, that gets me to 30, I have to add the 7 centimeters to get to 31 centimeters. So let's put this into a table. What does a table look like of this information? Well, the first 6 cups is a height of 15 centimeters. And that is the 8 centimeters from the rims plus the 7 centimeters from the first cup. So remember that 7 centimeters comes from that first cup. And then th that first cup plus the rest of the 5 cups each add <clears throat> 1 and a third centimeters. So that gets you out to 8 centimeters for those 6 cups plus the 7 gets you the 15. A little bit confusing. So if I add six more cups, 
Well, this is easy. So this just is two times six is 12 cups. But what happens to the centimeters? It's two times that eight. So now I have two groups of eight centimeters because I have two groups of six cups. But then what do you have to do? You have to add this seven centimeters. So that's two times eight is the 16 centimeters plus the seven gets you to 23. And we saw this before. Two times eight is 16 centimeters plus the seven centimeters gets you to this point right here, which is 23. All right, so this column, the number of cups, which is actually going to be the, the value along the, the um, x-axis is number of cups. This just increases by a multiple of 6. 3 times 6, 4 times 6, 5 times 6. But this one does not. This one, you have to always add the 7 centimeters. So here's the x-axis and here's the y-axis, so the x value and the y value. Six more cups gets you out to 18 cups. So every group of six cups gives you eight centimeters. So three times eight is 24, plus seven more centimeters gets you to 31. Four times eight is four times six. Four times eight is 32, plus that's seven centimeters. That's seven centimeters from that first cup gets you to 39 centimeters. Five groups of six cups, five groups of eight centimeters, 5 times 8 is 40, plus that 7 centimeters gets you to 47 centimeters. And now it gets tricky, because now you want to get to 50 centimeters. Well, if I add 8 more centimeters onto this, plus, and I, and I add the 7 centimeters, actually it's just adding 8 more centimeters onto this, that's going to get me to 55 centimeters. That's too much. So too many cups. I'm going to add less than 6 cups. So you can go back and ask the question, well, how much does each cup add? So when you add one cup, how much height does that add? Well, we know what that is. It's eight centimeters for six cups. So if you just um, simplify this, eight divided by two is four, six divided by two is three. That's four centimeters per three cups. And if you divide four by three, that is equal to four thirds of a centimeter for one cup. Well, we have seen that before. We saw that right here. So that eight centimeters per six cups, when we did that division, it turned out to be four thirds centimeters per cup. One and 33 hundredths is the same as four thirds. So it's four thirds centimeters per cup. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add one more cup to 31 cups. That's gonna add one and a third centimeters or four thirds centimeters. Two more cups, that's going to add two times four th thirds centimeters. Three more cups, three times four thirds centimeters. By the way, three times four thirds is equal to four centimeters. And we'll look at that in just a second. So what I just said, add one more cup, that adds four thirds centimeters, or one and a third centimeters. Add two cups, that's two times four thirds, that's eight thirds which is two and two thirds. Now, if you're not used to the fractions, just keep looking at these and thinking about them and you'll start to make sense of the fractions. And three cups is three times four thirds. Those threes cancel using an answer of four, but you can multiply them. Three times four is 12 thirds. 12 divided by three is four. So that's gonna get me out too far. 47 centimeters plus four centimeters from right here for three more cups. And that makes sense. That's um, half of six is three, half of eight is four. So that makes sense. You're going to add four more centimeters. But that's going to get me to 51 centimeters. And I, the problem doesn't state how close can you get to 50 centimeters and not go over 50 centimeters, or how close can you get to 50 centimeters going over 50 centimeters. It doesn't tell you what it wants as an answer. So I add one more cup, 31 cups, that gets me to 48 and a third centimeters. I'm adding one and a third to this 47. <clears throat> Add two more cups, that gets me to 49 and two thirds centimeters. I'm sorry, just one more cup to 31, that's 32 cups, 49 and two thirds centimeters. So I'm adding two and two thirds to 47. Three more cups, so you give me to 33 cups, that's 51 centimeters, and I just mentioned that, so it's adding these four centimeters for 47. So what's the answer? 32 cups 
gets me the closest to 50 centimeters without going over. 49 and 2 thirds centimeters. That's just one third of a centimeter away from 50 centimeters. But if the, if the answer is you need to go over 50 centimeters, and then what's the closest you can get over 50 centimeters? That would be this 51 centimeters from 33 cups. You can't add a fraction of a cup. So you can't get exactly 50 centimeters. You have to add a whole cup or you have to stop short one whole cup. All right, so the next activity is going to be um, looking at the same situation, but creating a graph with these numbers from this table and also writing the equation and answering a few other questions. So this is activity two and we're gonna go on to activity three in a moment.